Well, hey, my fellow video gamers and Let's Players, I'm Plays, and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Sly 3 Honor Among Thieves. And we are starting this episode on the pause screen. In the last episode, we took care of the missions. Oh, I almost said Operation Turbo, Turbo Dominant Eagle. That's the operation we're doing in this episode. What I meant to say was we did that Giant Wolf Massacre and we did the Windmill Hacking Montage mission. In this episode, we are going to be doing that Operation Turbo Dominant Eagle as Sly. So let's just uh, go over to our over right there. Okay, I almost thought we were going to be going to the hangar, but then I realized, yeah, I remember what part of the mission we are doing. And this operation, if I remember, is not all that long, so we are definitely going to be getting this operation done in this episode after I pickpocket this guy and get his silver watch because you know starting off a video with pickpocketing a guy is always good and you know what like the first episode we crawled under here and the reason I crawled under here in the first episode well not first episode the first episode of this episode that sounds weird the only reason I did that was because on the first time I played this game I did that because I didn't know what else to do and also I was just about to start playing this okay can you move thank you because I wanted to get this gold medal but I also didn't want to get caught by that guard and now we are into the oh are we gonna get to, oh we're exactly 800 coins so that was worth 101 coins that's a weird amount okay or actually no it probably wasn't worth 101 coins just because i got more coins another mistake kind of like the first guard we killed in this episode and the first real montage fight thing actually no we probably had a montage fight thing with a guard before but let's just uh, attack this guy even though he was looking at me and let's use the little catapult here because we were not going to be using that little thing let's go to the Excellent! The B-Champs dogfight is beginning! With these guys going at it, no one will notice as you slip onto the gunships and plant a tracking device. Sounds straightforward enough. Where'd you get these trackers? They look kind of funny. Best I could do on short notice. They're sensitive to extreme changes in altitude. You'll have to pull this job off at high elevation or it's a bust. Shouldn't be a problem. Now, a cool little tidbit of information about this part of the mission right here. This part of the mission is what I actually used to test this game back on my PlayStation 2 because originally I was going to LP this on my PlayStation 2 because I didn't have my PlayStation 3. And yeah, that's kind of what happened. So I eventually got my PlayStation 3 and we can do this in awesome stellar HD quality. Awesome, yeah. But the concept of this mission right here is I don't even think I need to actually use my paraglider for... Th okay, I needed to. Let's try that again. Wait, I believe- wait, I have to get off- Oh, no, 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 actually, it saves. For some reason, I thought it didn't save, but let's just get on this one right here, because it resets. Because it's weird, whenever you start the mission, it has, like, a weird pattern, but then you go into here, and then it just resets. But I need to wait for a good opportunity to get onto the other three, which, honestly, I thought you had to, uh, do this all in a row. I thought, like, oh, if you die, you have to restart this whole thing, but- Okay, I believe we're going to be getting onto here, but what I was trying to say about the restarting thing looks like it doesn't happen like that. And you do not turn that far away, okay? Because I need to get to at least something right now. And can I go over here and get- oh, I actually can go over here and get this one. Because I am way far in the air to actually get this one. Okay, can I get the- okay, thank you. Luckily, you can uh, pull out the paraglider anytime you're in the air, so it's not like, oh, one use and you're done, kind of like the Flood in Super Mario Sunshine, which is actually a game I'm planning on LPing sometime. I don't know when I'm going to LP it, but I really want to LP it sometime in the future, but I actually need to keep playing through it because I have all first the first eight shines in all the levels except for... Uh, Pianta Village, which I haven't played any of yet, so I probably should uh, get to playing some Pianta Village in Super Mario Sunshine, and maybe do that, but if I ever do an LP of that game, I am pretty sure I'm not going to be doing 100%, just because I don't want to go through the hassle of 100 coins and blue coins, because... I've never really done those before since I've never played Super Mario... I mean, I've played Super Mario 64, I've just never really beaten it. I mean, I've played the beginning of it, but I kind of really wasn't that good at the game, so I decided to, meh, just leave it. But anyways, I'll continue this conversation after we put this last one. Nice work, Flyboy. The gunship's GPS data is flowing in. Head back to the hangar and suit up. All right, Murray, the Black Baron's communication antenna is held up by three support beams. Pull them out of place, and the whole array will fall apart. Don't worry. If there's one thing I'm good at, it's rowing. And breaking stuff.
Well, did you think the boat rowing sections were done? No, we have an awesome boat rowing part here to get these windmills off. So just tap X as fast as you can and hold backwards, and you do that. The falling planes are dangerous, but they're perfect cover for this operation. The stupid thing is that between each thing, there's a cutscene because I don't even know how they tie it on that fast. I guess they cut it out, but we have to do these with all three of those wooden higher things or whatever. I don't even know if Bentley talked on that one, but this is the last one. As you see, this part really goes by fast. The only thing you really need to do is just watch out for the planes that are kind of falling down because uh, Belgium and Iceland, I believe, are going head-to-head -head right now. And, well, literally, probably head-to-head -head because they're crashing and dying into this water, and that is... The Murray has broken you! But that be a lesson to all men! I will not be trifled with! This is it! I am the tiger, pal! Look for the Black Baron! Take him out and this competition is all over! And go easy on the throttle! It's been sticking lately! Quit worrying! I'll see you in the winner's circle! Bentley just made a reference to Eye of the Tiger. Now, I would play Eye of the Tiger right now, but you know, copyright issues, YouTube is really bad about, about that, so what we have to do now is we have to follow the Black Baron, which actually, coincidentally, right off at the beginning he starts, we have to, sh like, gets right in front of us, so we just have to trail him and just attack all, put, like, all of our efforts into attack attacking the Black Baron. And also try to uh, avoid his attacking Nis there, because like all the other planes, he does attack from the back, because, you know, the Black Baron has to fly, and whoa, okay, okay. What the heck? The- he- like, he was going slow for some reason. I don't even know how to describe that, but now I have to find out where the Black Baron is. So where are- oh, there you are, thank you. Luckily they put you- put him right in your face, so you can do this, but luckily we don't have Mugshot, like, going all out, all shooting us because we killed him. That's the- well, not kill him, we m made him- I almost said incarcerated, is that the right word? I'm not really a police type person, but I guess incarcerated could be the word we could use. Okay, this is getting very weird, but we have to be careful here, because I really haven't uh, done this uh, shooting plane part for a while. I mean, okay, where are you? Where where are you, guy? Where are- there you are. At first I thought, I was thinking like, wait, there's no way he could have exploded from that little shot there. So I knew there was gonna be- he was gonna be there eventually, but yeah. And I have to say, this part definitely goes by a lot faster than the first one, because you're not just destroying, like, a whole bunch of planes, you're- It's basically, it's somewhat like a mini boss fight, but in planes, and I probably should be getting more ammo, because I am kind of out of ammo, and is there ammo between- Stop running into me. And there is no ammo between there. I just ruined some hay, so sorry whoever owns that thing, but let's just get some ammo, because I wasn't really conscientious- Conscientious- I'm not even going to try saying that word, conscientious, okay. That is a lot better of a pronunciation. You little bitch. Jesus. I don't mean to swear, but come on. I'm looking for him, and then all of a sudden, that happens. But luckily, I believe he does actually, like, I just saw lights on him, so that makes it easy to uh, find out where the heck he is, and him slowing down and crap, jeez. I've never had this problem before. Just, he's being all tricksterish. like, he'll come behind me, then like, oh, sorry, I'm gonna be a little, uh, douchey person, and blow you up by running into you, and then all of a sudden, we have to, like, go back to the beginning. Even though, blowing up like that, you don't die, but you just lose health. Which, that does not make sense at all. But if you, uh, blow up and you die, then you kind of have to restart the whole mission. Well, not the whole mission, but you have to restart this, uh, shooting part. But luckily, like I said, this shooting part is not, like, bad at all. I'm just not really doing as good on it, because I'm being a lot more cautious than usual. But, okay, fog, thank you, because that those clouds are really getting in the way. But luckily, I don't believe... Right. That raccoon is good. Gunships! Back on my position and destroy the Cooper aircraft. Send in a spare plane as well. Roger, Baron. All units on route. Sorry, Baron, but you'll have to fight fair this year. What? Who is that? How did you find me? 
Your biplane is in pieces. But <laughs> we're both still airborne, aren't we? The victor has yet to be decided. Then let's settle it. Beware, my boy. I've trained ten years at Fisticus. Pugilism is my passion. If you fight as well as you fly, then this shouldn't take long. On guard! On guard, exactly, yes. We are fighting this guy. I don't even know why I almost was thinking mugshot for a second. Nope, this guy, the Black Baron on a plane wing. What what would be a better place to fight the Black Baron then? And let's actually, uh, I'm going to try to get him a little bit closer here. Because if we're very far off by, like, the edge of the plane, it's a little bit hard. But you also don't want to be, like, in a way so you can't see him. So you have to be kind of careful. But what you have to do here is you have to wait for him to attack, and then you start attacking him. But let me actually show you something here. And that is the, like, increased little ability there. But let me try one thing. Push attack. There we go. I don't have jump attack, but I do have the little thing like that. And now we have this little uh, part here where we want to get rid of these guards, which this literally is made easy by just keep, by just keep mashing the square button, like standing in this position, and you'll be perfectly fine. You'll be killing like all of these. They might jump over one, one of them, but you know, it, this makes it just, it's so easy to do that. And also you get health from those guys, so this fight's not even that hard anyway. So uh, let's see if I can do another attack like that there, which probably isn't the best idea because you want to wait for him to attack like that. So it's probably better to do this and also be careful of that little attack there because that will happen. And also, as you see here, while fighting, I kind of get a little bit uh, rambunctious. And now, technically, I would have lost there because I kind of uh, fell off. But no, even if you fall off, it kind of brings you back up, which makes no sense at all. Because, you know, the Contessa fight made a little bit of sense. She would bring you up with her web. But this thing, you kind of just float back up like you would usually do at times. So it doesn't really make sense, but now we are prob... Okay, I said R like we were ha like I had a speech impediment, which isn't a bad thing because I don't disgrace people with speech impediments. It's not their fault. And now, can I get some health? Because, you know, health would really be nice now. And no. Okay, I guess I didn't get health. But now, what we have to do here is now we have guards to do stuff here. But the cool thing about the guards is that the guards can sometimes put down gasoline, and the gasoline will actually hurt him. So that is actually pretty dang cool. But most of the time, you probably just want to get rid of the guards. It is not, like, hard at all to do anything here, and I should probably be more careful, because I am almost dead. And being almost dead is not a good thing. Okay, let's just, uh, oh god, okay, let's uh, be careful. I'm almost, I have almost killed him, but I probably should be careful like that. Also, he does kill his guards like that, if that happens. But, now... I'm pretty sure a few more hits and he'll be down. A fatal blow! <coughs> That's enough! You win, Cooper! Wait, you? You're Penelope, the Baron's mechanic. No. No, you are the Black Baron! Suppose someone was bound to find out sooner or later. I guess I'm kinda relieved. But... why? Look. Let's talk on the ground, where it's safe. Like I said, this operation is really short compared to the other ones. Mayday, mayday. It was quite a revelation. Penelope and the Black Baron were one and the same. But before we could even process this turn of events, we were rushed to the winner's circle. Somehow, against all odds, we become this year's champions. There was a bit of an awkward moment between Bentley and Penelope. I guess the photos they'd sent each other over the internet were a bit... exaggerated. That night, Penelope explained that the disguise was invented to get her past the Dogfighting League's strict age requirements. However, after winning, the Baron became a celebrity, and she found herself putting on the costume more and more often. But now, with the Black Baron out of the picture, she was free to take up a new path, and she joined the gang without hesitation. 
The next day, our newest recruit treated us to a week-long aerial tour of Holland. She was fitting in just fine. You know, now that I think of it, I was thinking of this one, the cutscene was going on, since I can't hear it, so I can't really pay attention, and 22% done, but I believe Rumble Down Under is, uh, like, the, 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 the operation, couldn't think of the word for a second, is actually shorter than Flight of Fancies, because I remember I did uh, a mission before the operation, I believe, in Rumble Down Under, and I still finished the operation, but, and that video was ex kind of long, because I was kind of rushing at the end, but Flight of Fancy took about, like, 14, 15 minutes, so, whatever. So, in the next episode of Let's Play Sly 3 Honor Among Thieves, because this episode is done, we are going to be going to episode 4, A Cold Alliance. And if you can tell by the little background thing, it looks like we might be going to either China or Japan. But we'll have to see in the next episode. So this has been Juddle Plays saying see you later, and goodbye.